Madeline. Hello, beloved readers. Today, I have an exciting story to share with you. I hope it brings you joy and excitement. Today, Luna have a book named Madeline Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Kid Channel for more stories. Thank you for reading. So, here we go. In the heart of Paris, where cobblestone streets were full of old stories, lived a spirited nine-year-old girl named Madeline. Her fiery red hair and brave and strong spirit set her apart, making her a beloved figure in the old house covered in vines, known by everyone as Miss Clavel's School for Girls. Yet it was Madeline's daring and curious nature that truly made her stand out. One sunny morning, as the golden sun bathed the city's rooftops, Madeline noticed a girl sitting alone in the park. The girl's name was Isabel, and her shy behavior and downcast eyes tugged at Madeline's heartstrings. Without a moment's hesitation, Madeline approached her. Bonjour, I'm Madeline, she greeted with a warm smile. Would you like to join us for a game of hopscotch? Isabel's eyes widened in surprise, and a small smile graced her lips. With a shy nod, she joined the game, and soon, laughter filled the air as Isabel's shyness went away. Through hopscotch and shared stories, Madeline and her friends welcomed Isabel into their circle. As the days turned into weeks, Madeline and Isabel's friendship bloomed like the vibrant flowers in Paris's gardens. They explored the city's hidden corners, picnicked under the shade of the Eiffel Tower, and shared pastries that were simply delicious. Yet, as much as Isabel grew comfortable with her new friends, she still looked a little worried. One evening, beneath the soft glow of the moon, she confided in Madeline. The school talent show was approaching, and Isabel was filled with dread at the thought of performing in front of others. Madeline's eyes sparkled with determination. You know, Isabel, we can practice together. You've got a wonderful talent, and I'll be right there with you. And practice they did. Isabel's graceful dance moves and Madeline's unyielding encouragement created perfect teamwork. As the days passed, Isabel's confidence blossomed, and the thought of the talent show changed from a source of fear into an exciting challenge. The day of the talent show arrived, and as the auditorium filled with students, Madeline sat by Isabel's side. When Isabel took the stage, her heart pounded, but the support of her friends, and especially Madeline's reassuring smile, gave her the courage to shine. As she danced, the room seemed to hold its breath, and when her performance ended, the applause was very loud. Isabel's face beamed with a mixture of surprise and delight, and she rushed back to Madeline's embrace, tears of joy in her eye. Madeline's unwavering support had transformed Isabel's fear into a triumph, and their friendship had proven to be a beacon of courage. In the days that followed, Isabel's confidence soared, and she became an integral part of the group's adventure. Their bond was unbreakable a testament to the power of friendship and the courage it could inspire. However, life has a way of introducing unexpected changes. One day, as the sun painted the sky in shades of orange and pink, Madeline received news that Isabel's family was moving away once again. The girls' hearts were heavy, but they knew that their friendship would endure across distance and time. As they bid each other farewell with tearful smiles, their promise of friendship remained unbroken. Madeline stood by the old house covered in vines, watching as Isabel's family disappeared from view. Though Isabel was gone from Paris, the city's streets still held the echoes of their laughter, and the memories of their courageous adventures remained etched in their heart. And so, in the heart of Paris, 
where cobblestone streets were full of old stories. Madeline learned that true friendship was a force that could bridge even the widest rivers and reach the highest towers. Through their shared adventures, Madeline and Isabel had proven that with courage and a caring heart, true friendship could withstand any distance. We have reached the end of the story. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with Luna on Teep Kid Channel. Bye. I'll see you next time.